Today we're going to consider this question two out of a Stanford Mathematic contest from set four, uh, I'm sorry, set three, which reads as follows. There's an arithmetic and geometric progression. If we add their terms pairwise, we get 85, 76, 84. If we add all three terms of the arithmetic progression, we get 126. Write each of the progressions. So take a couple seconds to try this out for yourself. Then we'll do some hints, then we'll get on with the proof. Alrighty then, so to show that uh, for some hints, we're going to note that it will perhaps be very useful to rewrite some of these, um, the arithmetic and geometric progression. Um, if we do so, then we will get, uh, we'll get some slightly simpler, simpler answers to work with. In particular, after you do that, you should start with the second piece of information we're given. Alrighty then, let's begin. So, if, if we're given that if we add all terms, all three terms of the arithmetic progression, we get 126. So let's rewrite the arithmetic progression in the following way. a minus d, a, a plus d. And then we'll also write the other sequence similarly. Namely, we'll write it as c over r, c, and cr, where r is the common ratio and d is the common uh, additive factor. Adding these, Three terms together, we get 3a is equal to 126, which implies that a is equal to 42. With that, we already have one part done. Next, we can use that to derive what c is. We're going to get c is equal to 76 minus 42 is going to be 34. That's fantastic. So now let's check our last two results, which are with adding the first pair, the first pair of terms and the second pair of terms, oh, and the third pair of terms, which tells us that a minus d plus c over r is equal to 85 and uh, a plus d plus c over r is equal to 84. Let me just check I did get that right. Yes, perfect. Next we will, uh, actually no that's the wrong order because the a plus d is 34. Yes, cool. a plus d uh, plus c over r. Oh, that's right. It should be a CR. This is the third term. So we recall that what we derived that a is 42 and c is 34. So we can rewrite these as uh, 34 over r minus d is equal to uh, 30. Uh, where is it? Is equal to 43 and 34 r. 34r plus d is equal to 42, since a, of course, is 42. Next, if we add these two sequences, we see that we can eliminate the d. So we get the following quadratic equation in r, namely 34 over r plus 34r is equal to 85. You can multiply by r, and you can rearrange to get 34r squared minus 85r plus 34 is equal to 0. Solving this, we get r is equal to 2 or 1 half. And there's a kind of symmetry there that kind of calls out to us, so we'll come back to this later. But for now, let's just assume r is 2. If r is 2, we can now figure out the uh, sequence here. We get that our sequence is 34 over 2 is going to be um, 17, 34, and 68 is our second sequence. And then we can use that to find out what this is. 34 times 2 plus d equals 42. So that's going to be 68 plus d is 42. So that gives us d is minus 62. I'm sorry, minus 26. And we can go back and we get that our arithmetic sequence is a minus d is going to be uh, 42 plus 26, which should be 68, 68, 42, 16. And now we'll note that here are our sequences, and we can check that actually if you plugged in 1 half, you would get d is positive 26. And in that case, you would get that um, you get a flip sequence, so the ordering of these would be different. So these are the sequences up to a reordering in the sense that you can flip the first and third terms by multiplying, by changing what geometric factor and what additive factor you're using in each step, but um, it doesn't particularly matter because it's just reordering. With that, thank you for watching.